Hi everyone, welcome back to DNC Davis Family. I am Char. If you're new here, um, if you remember me, my old name was Jeezy Babe, or you call me Jeezy, or you call me Char Jeezy. So today is Friday. Let me see. Today is Friday. Hope everybody's Friday is doing wonderful. Um, today I went to work and I work in the public sector, so I seen a dead body on the street. Like, this was like really my first time seeing a dead body on the street living in Chicago. And I felt so bad. I felt, I felt really bad because it was like, it's early in the morning. And I know, I, even though I work in the public, I be seeing the police every morning, like somewhere on the south side, posted up with tape lined around because somebody's got shot or somebody is no longer breathing. So... That was crazy that I seen a dead body just laying on the ground. He was out there for a minute, having to wait for the coroner to come pick him up. But it's like if you do some, if you do something wrong to somebody else, that karma is gonna come and find you. So your best bet is to just get yourself together and move out the city and move somewhere else. I wouldn't be caught walking to no stove, to no gas station, to nowhere in no Chicago. And this was on 63rd. So if you do some dirt to somebody. Just don't send somebody else to the store for you or wherever they got to go and plan on getting yourself out of here. I don't suggest nobody do no wrong to nobody, but um, living in the south side of Chicago in a predominantly black neighborhood is crime. The crime is super high. And I didn't know like so many people get shot in Chicago. And I thank God no danger has found my address because I don't. That's just not the lifestyle that I live. So that's why I feel I feel safe because I pray and I try to live a righteous life. That's why I don't have to worry about nobody stabbing me in my back because I ain't do no wrong to nobody. But also, like, even though you be a good person, like, harm can still find your address. So you just got to be careful. But I keep the blood of Jesus covered over me. So therefore, um... If anything happens, I'm still covered, you know? So, anywho, I got me some hair. I got me some clip-ins, y'all. And these clip-ins came from Clipped. C-L-I-P-T, Clipped. And um, they were a bit pricey. And I'm gonna show y'all like what they look like. They were expensive, a little pricey. I was gonna expedite these to my house because I wanted them like last weekend on Friday, but they still came like that Saturday before I, no, they came, I left Friday last week. We went to Ohio to the um, music festival and it was super nice. And I ended up packing heels to a concert. Oh, my bad. I packed heels to a concert. Like, what was I thinking? And I had a pair of gym shoes that matched my husband's. It had the little orange and the blue in there. So it matched whatever his outfit was perfectly. But yeah, so, um. It was nice. Um, we got to hang out with the um, older crowd. They invited us out to the music festival. And so we was not trying to go nowhere because we're going to Jamaica soon. So we was trying to save some money, but my husband really wanted to go. So he made it happen for us to go. Um, but yeah, this here, I was going to expedite it. And if I would have paid like an extra 30 bucks, it would have got here on Saturday, but I'm glad I didn't. I said I'll just hold off because I do need them for this weekend to do something with my hair. So um, they ended up coming the same day if I would have expedited it. So I saved 30 bucks. So it's from Clipped. Oh, they got me a little note. Sade. Let's see what it says. If I could open it. What they got me. Good news. You're officially part of the click. Okay. Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy $10 off your next order. The code is so-and-so, so-and-so. That's if I want to buy something else. Um, I can give y'all the code. It's thanks in the number 10. Thanks in the number 10. If y'all want to buy y'all some clippings, because I'm, I'm not going to buy no more, I don't think. I think I wanted the natural, but they were out of stock. So I got the uh, the silky kind, because I really wanted the natural. So if I do, the code is uh thanks in the number 10. 
by the way i bought this with my own money so i'll i'll support because she was a black business owner and we got to look out for each other that's something we don't do and i'm cool with supporting so i hope these okay so okay yeah these are clippings i forgot what i bought how many inches is these i'm sorry y'all it is 20 inches straight. This is all they had available. 20 inches straight. I ended up buying a rack also. Hold on, I need some scissors. So the reason, the reason why I wanted these is because it's like tape ends. I thought they were gonna be a little bit different than this. By the way, it still feel nice. So these are like, if y'all can see, it has like the tape in band, but it's no tape on your hair. Instead, they put the clips on there. So when you put it on your hair, it's gonna have that black strip. So it's almost like a seamless like look. And I was like, oh, this different. And I wanted to give it a try because yeah i wanted to just give it a try these are 20 inches long and i just wanted to try these out when i did look though i think when they were advertising it i'm not sure if it was like a um like a silk silk something silky band right here but instead it's like the tape in maybe i was looking at a, i was looking at a lot of different kinds so maybe i'm kind of mistaking them for a different um, vendor or whatever but basically it is the tape in uh, band on the top and it feels it feels like a little thin belt it don't feel like it's gonna be damaging to the hair like like the um, wefts the wefts be a little bit abrasive to your natural hair so that's what I got and then I got the this should be the clip let me see cuz I'm gonna I, I plan on keeping these for a while and I got the clip. This is like a holder you could put like in a shower. And you put the little suction cups on there to to, to hold it up like that on the back. And you leave it out there barking her butt off. And you put the suction cups on the back and you clip it onto something. And basically, you, when you're ready to like wash your wefts. Let me see how I can put them on here. This is like a hanger for the wefts. So when you're ready to blow dry it, when you're ready to wash them and they're wet, you don't have to, you know how hard it is to hold a weft of hair and to blow dry it. So this makes that job even that much easier. So you can get it even blow dry. You could get it even press out on the hair. So I got the whole, the whole shebang, boom. So that's the hair. And it also came with, a scrunchie this is cute i love this color it's cute came with a little scrunchie scratch so you could, with these clippings you could kind of like do whatever with your hair put it up in a ponytail as y'all can see i am natural i look a hot mess but i had a long day at work i am natural so once i wash this hair this hair been pressed out my hair been pressed out for about two weeks and after a while i don't, want, I don't even want to lift the head up because it's gonna be <laughs> It's gonna be like Don King, so I'm leave it on. I'm finna, I'm finna get in the shower, wash my hair, and then style my hair so I can put these clip-ins in. So basically, you could put it up in a smooth, seamless ponytail, put in a low pony, and it's undetectable. It's supposed to be undetectable. So, yeah. But with this hair, it feels super soft. It feels thick, it looks thick at the bottom, as y'all can see. And the reason why I really wanted these is because it came like 10 in a pack versus when they sell you clip-ins, they like seven, seven pieces in a pack. So I got extra three pieces of hair and it cost a little bit more, but clip-ins used to come 10 in a pack. I don't know what happened. People are taking away, taking, giving you less product and charging you more for it and you getting less product. Like it used to come 10 in a pack. But yeah, I said I wanted to try clip-ins. I tried clip-ins before, but these are like more, um, you know, a better grade of clip-ins and style and stuff. So we gonna, I'm, I'm finna test these out and see how they work. I don't know what I'm finna do to my hair for Jamaica. 
but yeah. So I got the, it came in this little silky bag. It came in this little bag. I got this little scrunchie. I got the 10 piece clip ins and I got this little um, clipped, um, what do you call it? Clip in holders to wash, blow dry and restyle the hair so you can re reinstall it. So this is really neat. I thought this was genius. This is genius. Like nobody else has this. Like. It makes the job that much more easier to reinstall and keep your stuff organized. I love this. So y'all get these a try. Um, I'm going to leave the code in the description box for somebody, some lucky, somebody that wants to purchase. Um, you could probably use the code only one time because it was originally for me. But I'm going to share that code to somebody who ever want to buy it. Um, if you don't buy it in time before I buy it. <laughs> so yeah, the code is going to be in the description bar. And yeah, we've been in my A for a minute. Like I said, we went to um, Ohio last week and we haven't been posting in a while because I don't know, life been, we've been busy. We've been just having fun without vlogging on the camera and having a dog now is just extra work. It's a lot of work. So um, the first thing I do when I come in, she's whining. Eva is whining, so I have to take her outside. Like today, it's like a hundred, it's like 99 degrees today in Chicago. So I take her out, she's barking out there, nonstop. I bring her in, she's whining in here. I take her out, she's barking again. So it's like, I don't wanna like, you know, be, it's kinda annoying to me. So I know it's annoying to the neighbors. So I'm trying to be like, you know, considerate but also trying to get her in and out. But I'm kind of over this dog stuff. My husband wanted her. I don't want no more dogs. I'm, I had three and I'm just trying to see like, how did I manage having three dogs in a small, even a smaller apartment than this place is? Like it was tiny. It was, I lived in a coach house and I had three dogs and it worked because I don't know. It just worked. So, um, I'm gonna clean her out of this room and I'm gonna build her something in the living room so she can stay in here Because we need to clean this room out and put a bed in there and a the TV and all that stuff for our daughter so Yeah, so I'm finna wash my hair and um, Next time y'all see me my hair will be styled already. I'm gonna probably Gonna probably do a flat style to the side or something So I'm not gonna record me washing my hair. I don't think I never do. I don't know if y'all want to see that. It's a process. It's a process. And vlogging is... Vlogging be a lot of work. Especially when you're working and you got a dog and you got kids and you got a husband to take care of. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, I'll catch y'all in another video. I'm finna get started. So, peace. Love y'all.